Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Realm Grinder video, episode 72, and it's been like a day since last episode, and apparently to get these two artifacts, I need to excavate even more. Apparently I need 3250 excavations, which is ridiculous. I'm at 3192, and I'm almost had enough gems to make it to reincarnation 32. So, I don't know why I'm supposed to do this, but... I actually will stay in this reincarnation because actually off camera I found some ways to improve this build. It's in the spellcraft and craftsmanship branch. And what I should do is I should swap 330, which is just a mana regen boost, for either it's it depends on if I have Sun Force assistance. If I do have Sun Force assistance, I should get two I should get C two hundred, which is about a seven or eight times boost to production. If I don't have Sun Force assistance, I should get this, which is a lot of assistance. So, I mean, it's based on offline time in this reincarnation. If I'm trying to do, like, a reincarnation quickly, this wouldn't be very good. The thing is, this is sort of a build that is meant for... It's an It Grows Over Time build. So, that's what's, that's what's going to happen to the Craftsmanship branch. So the Spellcraft branch, 105, I think, will swap for for 135 which is a 57 times production boost. And maybe 30 will swap for 215. I'm just not sure if like losing almost all my mana regen is worth a is worth a 50 times production boost. So, I'm just going to advocate at this point and I'm just I'm going to try to make this new build and see how it goes. Okay, so it looks like this build here where I do get 305, it does have terrible mana regen, which I think that does mean, like, there's some researches here that are based on, like, mana produced in this game, and, like, this is, like, half of what it usually is, so I feel like S30 I should actually get, because this, um, yeah, this is not good. I, don't, I This amount of mana regen is just awful, and I'm, I need some mana regen. I, I don't need, like, 500 per second, but... I need at least, like, a little over 100. So, I think it's worth it to go S30 instead of S215. Or So, okay, so I'm just going to go S30 instead of S215. I think, I, I think that S30, no, that S215 is a little worse than S135. So, that, that's, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, here's the build, and I... Only at 55 mana regen, which is only a little bit more than before, but the thing is that S30 is an It Grows Over Time research, and this is, like, combined with an It Grows Over Time build, like, you know, combo strike and everything. So, this should, like, start really increasing to the point where it's, like, over 100. Hopefully the max mana will also increase, because right now it's very weak, but I feel like it'll be a lot stronger later on. Hopefully, this build actually... It may possibly be worse than the build I made before, but if, if this is worse than the one I made before, I can still just use that one. I still feel, I, I feel like this one is slightly better because there's just like a lot more production I can do. Also, I think the reason why it looks so weak is I because I haven't actually cast all these spells yet. Like if I cast all my spells here, you'll, you'll see that... Yeah, it's up to E117 already, so that, that's a good sign. So I feel like this build is better than the one I made before. So I'm just going to try to get more excavations with this build. Like I'm, I'm going to wait, like, many hours for this. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back an hour or so later, and I can actually excavate 123 times. I have almost E260 coins, which means I'm getting pretty close to E308 coins. Also, I can actually get all the way up to E124 gems from Abdication, which is enough to make it to Reincarnation 33 in a future reincarnation. But anyway, I'm just going to excavate. I'm, apparently, 3250 is where, is, is where I can get this artifact. So let's see, 3250. So now something is showing here. Yeah, it's this one. You don't know what this is yet, and there's a chance. Uh-oh. I, I have to deal with artifact RNG. This is great. Okay, hopefully I can get good RNG. I can get, I have 65, I can get, I can excavate 65 times with 
a half percent chance to get it, it is a... Actually, I can now activate 66 times. It's about a 28% chance of getting the artifact, which isn't that big, but there is still a chance. Let's see if I can get... If, if, if the RNG gods will be good to me. Let's see. Nope, they're not good to me. So... I'm just going to try to wait a little bit more because, like, I think this build, like, with Combo Strike and just the it grows over time nature of it, I'm going to be able to get, like, at least, like, another, like, few dozen excavations. And I really do need these artifacts. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back a few hours later. I've let this combo up a lot. And... It looks like I can actually get 308 of each Royal Exchange, which is crazy. And I can get 91 more excavations, which is about a 36 chance, 36% chance of getting this artifact. In total, with all these excavations, it's about a 54%, 54% chance of getting this artifact. So let's see if I can actually get this RNG. And of course not. So I'm actually 93 excavations away from an excavation reset, but I don't think I should actually get that. So I, th I think, honestly, I should just abdicate and reincarnate. Sad as it is, just not getting the artifact. I'm just going to have to deal with this. And I'm probably going to have to deal with this for multiple reincarnations. So, I mean, it's pretty crazy. E127 gems. Like, I, it's like I could push all the way. Like, this is enough to reach reincarnation 34. And this amount of gems is enough to reach 35. But I'm just going to... Oh, I've got a trophy here for a bunch of gems. It's actually the last trophy in this series. Interesting. Gave me 696 trophies. Nice. Well, anyway, I'm just going to reincarnate, and there's actually a secret trophy I think I'm supposed to get. I think I should have gotten it last reincarnation, but but I didn't. And this is the No Recruiting Trophy. It's actually apparently more important than Stoic Resistance, but whatever. It's, it's No Recruiting, and this apparently this trophy is all about, like, I, I think, I've seen, I've not seen the requirement, but I've seen some clues, including, like, its picture, and I've also seen, like, the We're Not Spoiled website, and it's, like, and I think, uh, my guess, and also, the plot has some, like, has something, I think, to do with it. I think what I have to do is do an entire reincarnation without joining Mercs, which is interesting. So I think at this point, I should, like, excavating should not be really be a problem. So I, I'll do it. Here's 200 excavations. Just, I'm just pointing that out. Like, like you, it used to be like a problem to excavate, but now it's not a problem unless I go over 3250. So and I'm nowhere close to that. So I'm just going to keep trying. And from casting all my spells, it's probably going to be pretty powerful. Like with Diamond Pickaxe now doing something like I can do 2-4 two, two, here, and then once I'm down to 12 seconds, I can cast Diamond Pickaxe and then Holy Light at 10 seconds. And that'll be pretty powerful. Like, I can go all the way from E13 to, looks like, almost E30 gems. So now I'm being Dwery with the, um, with the Fairy Line, and that should be pretty powerful. I'm just going to get all the heritages, heritages, and, yeah, this should be very powerful like, it, like it's so powerful that it it seems to almost rival mercs i mean not quite but it gets pretty close the only problem with wary is just this mana regen it's not it's not good at all so i think what i can do at this point is i can do two six and then i can soon cast diamond pickaxe and the rest and this will allow me to reach E44, let's say maybe E45 even. Yeah, E45 gems from E29, which is crazy. I'm also only one order of magnitude away from a unique build in here, which would be very powerful. So now I'm going to be Dwery again, and this should be very easy to get the unique building. That will actually also allow me to get research already at like such a low gem count like that's sort of weird but i guess that's what it what is here it is i can unlock research at e45 gems except i can't actually get any of the research upgrade until like e122 coins but at least like unique building is very powerful it's like it's a like maybe a 50 times production boost also apparently i forgot about this research 
435. It's a, it's a spellcast spam one, so maybe I would just do it, like, considering I could just be dwarf, I could probably just go dwarf to get D435 and C460 at the same time. So now I've, I'm casting all my spells, and this will allow me to reach E55 gems, and actually I can even get some research upgrades. I'm probably just going to load Fairy Research Build 1, which is a very basic research build. It's probably not even allowing me to do a lot of stuff. It's probably best just to abdicate here. And next, this abdication, I'm going to definitely get a lot more of the researches. But I'm seeing how, at the very least, this is a viable option. I don't think it's faster than Mercs right now, but it's not like it's so slow that like it's just going to be dis discarded as just like a, a inferior strategy. At this point I can just start loading some of the some of the aspects of this research build already. Now that I'm on a good amount of mana I'm gonna start casting the spells which hopefully means I can get some more researches. So let's see if I can get anything here while I'm waiting. 12 seconds, 10 seconds. I'm out of, actually I don't have enough mana for Holy Light which isn't good. Maybe I can just do it like this very, very quickly, and then one, 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 one. It gets me up to E68 gems, so I'm not going to complain. At this point, it's definitely I'm definitely going to be able to... I don't know why. Honestly, I should just be goblins at this point. This is where I can go to my goblin research build, which is probably a lot... I would say it's definitely stronger than my fairy research build. Like, that was like... The fairy research build is like the first one I made, and it's just not good. This one was like the second. I, I knew a lot more. Also, this build actually has decent mana regen. I'm like, I don't think that the fairy build has very good mana regen. So here is, I, I have now fully put in the build, and now I, I, can, I, have, I can get E76 gems, and if I cast all my spells here, this will allow me to reach E81 gems. So, actually E82. So that's very powerful. It's enough to probably get into my druid research build. It's like, it's weird. Every application is different at this point. Also, while I'm like putting like this research build in and all that, um, I found out that the E290 research is retroactive. So that means I don't have to worry about like previous like excavations with E290. Like I could still get like as many excavations as I, as I would have. I mean, like you may think that maybe if it was if it wasn't retroactive, it would if it wasn't retroactive, essentially like the like out of art like the cost multiplier would decrease for like the ones I I can purchase, but not for the ones I've already purchased. It, it's it's hard to explain, but also this build isn't as powerful. Actually, it is. It still is pretty powerful. I thought oh it's not very powerful because I can't get this upgrade, but. I can still get 10 orders of magnitude of gems. And there's the trophy. I didn't even need to get to reincarnate. I thought I needed to get through an re entire reincarnation. No, I, I didn't. This is reach E90 gems in a reincarnation without ever affiliating with the mercenaries. Let's see what upgrade this even gives me. Hopefully it's something good. I don't see the upgrade for it though. I'm, I'm honestly just gonna look it up because I have no idea why I can't see the upgrade. Because every secret trophy comes with an upgrade and for whatever reason this one does not, but it was important. This is confusing. Its re its reward, oddly enough, is increased mercenary production by 1% per reincarnation. Which is a very weak reward. I thought this is like a important trophy. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Like a different trophy that was very important that I'm missing. Actually, there is one. And that is Vanishment. I have no idea. I I think it has to, I think that I've seen its picture and it has to do with assistance. But I don't really know about that one. This build is weaker than I remember it. I, I can get up to E99 gems. Maybe it's just because this is a fresh reincarnation and maybe if I have some offline time that'll increase it. Honestly, that'll be really good for my droblin build. So that's what pro that's what probably what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna abdicate now and then just go offline. And for whatever reason, I should be Angel while offline, so... Yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back a day later, and... Well, I have set up this, this run. I'm up to 7 E106 gems in the treasury. And I can do some more research here. So, I don't think... I, actually, I, I did get to max here. 
496, and I don't think, I'm not going to specifically be going for any of these researches, but, like, if I do end up just getting them, just, like, naturally, that would be nice. So, I'm not even sure, like, what is this? You should try everything at least. Is this just, like, I'm guessing this is just cast every spell 12 times, which will come naturally. Like, I know I can do it quicker, but I'm not specifically really going for research at this point. Like, I'll, I'll do this in another reincarnation. And then here, this is maximum magic. This may be a max mana thing that I may never reach um, in this reincarnation. That's okay. This is probably just Royal Exchange, and this is... I have no idea what it is. It's probably just like a building or something. If I don't get them, that's okay. I keep saying that. But, yeah, that's essentially all I wanted to show you. So I'm just going to keep pushing, tr pushing gems, trying to get more. Hopefully I can get up to E120 gems. I only have 357 assistance because this research here is a lot weaker than it was before. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back like over a day later and I've definitely, I have 320 of each Royal Exchange. I can get E128 gems, but the main reason why I've pushed this far is for the excavations to try to get this artifact. The thing is that at this point, there's now this amount of excavations is about a 60% chance to get the artifact. So it seems pretty hopeful. And in total, like this and last time, it'll be a total of 82% chance. So if I miss this, I essentially miss an 82% chance. I'm going to do it one by one. And can, actually, no, I don't even need to do it one by one. I'm just going to do it max. Three, two, one, bam. There we go. Finally, Flame of Bondelnar. This magical azure flame of Alnar constantly emanates a silent yet subtle evil aura. And this is provide two additional upgrade slots for the warfare branch and an additional one for the affinity of your base faction. That's pretty overpowered. I'm, I could definitely make a build out of this, but at this point, I think it's just time to reincarnate. So, I mean, it could abdicate just for the gems. Okay, it doesn't do anything. So, okay, reincarnate. Hope you enjoyed... Peace out.